So, yeah. So, we've got a general election on at the moment, don't you, if you've noticed. Has anyone out there not registered to vote yet? No, good. Good! Oh, yep, there's one. I can see her there. Get her! Get her, everyone! Well, you've got until Monday to register to vote. And if all the people who didn't normally vote voted, then Jeremy Corbyn would be Prime Minister rather than Theresa May. And whatever you might think about Jeremy Corbyn, you've got to admit, it'll be a fucking shit ton better than having Theresa May. So he's going to get my vote. And um, this one's about elections and voting and lying politicians. And it's called Truth and Fiction. This is the title track of the new album, which is out um, today. <laughs> Put politely, a load of cobblers gonna house the homeless, employ the jobless. And you're gonna be a total idiot to buy any of that shit. Even consider it, so consider it. Leave us a little bit for a few scraps, then call that benefit. What? I'm just saying that you can't lie, get caught, then make out. You're a nice guy, what a cost to just living's got so high, people can't even get by. And we try, but it's still not enough. Rent just doubled and I got laid off. Caught in a struggle just to pay the debts. I thought I made the best to juggle in two jobs. So why do we act like it's such a surprise? Every time we discover new lies, we just sigh and then scroll on by. Leaders, man, they can't even feed us, let alone lead us. Nurses eating out of food banks while they excuse banks and let the market feed us. Do you really want to feed these leeches? Do you really want to hear these speeches? Go scare some daily mail readers. I'm throwing in my lot with the basket weavers. Cause you lot are basket cases. Having debates over who's less racist. It's like we're living in the end of ages and I still can't tell whose mask is fakest. But that's how they keep you focused. Get your attention, then you don't notice. The power never rests in the hands of the voters. Now nah, that's hocus pocus. Now I'm not saying voting's hopeless. I'm just saying that your vote gets wasted. When you let yourself get sucked in by the media telling you where you can't place it. Cause let's face it, it's just basic human emotion, mate. You can't bake it. So if you ever get a chance to vote for someone taking a stance, you better damn well take it. Know where the hell did our grip on reality go? It's like we're living in a TV show with a screenplay stolen from HBO, and there's an eight year old in the director's chair giving a major role to anybody with a grand air, preferably two or three grand hair. Effectively, he doesn't give a damn or care. Why should he? The ratings are soaring. Who said politics are boring? Logs in his Google account each morning and watches the ad revenue just pouring. And anyway, he's just reporting. He knows Trump's views are all appalling, but he's not gonna win, so just ignore him. Oh, hang on. This just in, he just got sworn in. I don't know what to believe no more When the truth becomes the fiction and the fiction is more When the politicians play their games of war We're busy watching shadows on the wall I don't know what to believe no more When the truth becomes the fiction and the fiction is more When the politicians play their games of war We're busy watching shadows on the wall nah.
Thank you, Bristol.